I believe the most important self-leadership lesson is to take responsibility for yourself. You have no idea how important this principle is. It's the most basic and fundamental self-leadership concept. And that is to take responsibility for your life. Take responsibility for your actions. Take responsibility for what you say and for what you do. Because the alternative of not taking responsibility for yourself is that you're going to become a burden for other people. Starting by those people who love you. So if you don't take responsibility for yourself, what's really happening is that you are indirectly or even directly putting those who love you in a, in a situation where because they care, they will have no choice but to take responsibility on your behalf for yourself. And that's really not fair because the same people who are now taking responsibility for yourself on your behalf, they already are taking responsibility for themselves, for their life. So the basic principle or measure of maturity is to take responsibility for your life, is not to become burden on other people. Because everybody is fighting their own battles, everybody is fighting their own demons everybody are everybody is in on their own journey of you know making it through the difficulties of life so you becoming a burden to them just because they love you number one is not fair number two is immature number three is not sustainable because sooner or later these people will say listen it's too heavy it's too much grow up and even if they love you i have seen parents who have reached a point where they told their ch- kid their kids who have become a liability because that their addiction to drugs and to other behaviors or recklessness or negligence or not taking care of their own life, they've reached a point where parents said, listen, our lives as a family cannot be about yours alone. You have siblings that we have to to take care about. And we also have ourselves that we have to take care of ourselves as parents so that we can take care of our life and the lives of the people around you, especially your sibling. So even when you have love as deep and as, as solid and profound as the love of parents to their child, that also will expire if a person who's supposed to be a mature person is not taking responsibility for themselves. Now, I'm not talking about cases where a person is unable to take responsibility for themselves because of some some sort of physical challenge or mental health issue. Hmm? These things are these are special cases and they need to be taken care of by family, loved ones, society, or expert. I'm talking about people who are able, in terms of you know physically and mentally and age-wise, of taking responsibility for their lives. It's a moral and ethical responsibility that you do that this is the starting point of 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 self-leadership the second point i want to emphasize on this is that this is important because you matter you matter whatever you do matters and has consequences that will directly affect your life and directly and indirectly affect other people's life around you so whatever you say and do or you don't say and you don't do matters Because you don't live alone. We're all connected. If you live in a family, whatever you do and you don't do matters. It will, whether you like it or not, affect this family negatively or positively. You matter. The same thing applies in a work environment. You matter regardless of how significant or relatively small is the scope and the depth and the importance of what you do. If you're part of a system and you're connected, you're part of a group, whether you like it or not, in some way or form, your life is entangled with their lives, in some way or form. Whatever you do, whatever you don't do, say or not say, matters. It has consequences. So the first rule of self-leadership is to take full and complete responsibility for taking care of yourself, taking care of your life, for what you say and what you do, and for the consequences that these things, these measures and these steps and this attitude will generate. Once you do that, and once you're fully responsible for your actions and your behaviors, and you appreciate that what you do matter, then you can move to the other phase of leadership. And that is about taking responsibility for others.
But you cannot take responsibility for others and exercise leadership and mobilize them if you can't take responsibility for yourself, regardless of your age. If you're mature enough, you and only you are the prime person responsible for your life. Everybody else around you, including people who love you, are your support structure, your wife support structure, your husband support structure, siblings, parents, friends support structure. They're barely making it by taking responsibility for their lives. It is your responsibility to do that. If you don't do that, it's not only disservice, it's unfair. It's unfair to all of people around you. So carry your own burden, and if you can, help others carry their own burden. It's the only option that we have to make it through this life. And that's self-leadership.